Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm so glad to be here. My name is Hera. I'm from Bali Sapori and Marine Park, the third sister park of Taman Sapori, Indonesia. Um, at here, I will try to present Marsenia papers about enrichment, a link in the conservation change. Uh, we are focusing for the enrichment about the organism. Okay, we start from introduction. For the first, human maintain wild animal in the zoological park for the purpose of education, conservation, research, and recreation. However, abnormal behavior might develop in the captivity if those environments do not allow them to carry out their natural behavior, such as swimming, climbing, stalking, and predation. Captive environment in the zoological park often do not provide for natural behavior due to limited space. The high standard and regulation of care provided by the zoos might not address the behavioral need of the animal. Captivity can affect drastically animal behavior, such as boredom and stereotypic behavior. So, when the carrying for the captive animal, people need to include enrichment in their daily routines. Environmental enrichment is needed in the captivity to maintain their natural behavior of wildlife. Although the techniques of the enrichment are simple, they do not require being imaginative and have a flexible approach to husbandry. They also required a certain level of limited to the be taken by the staff, something they might not be used to. In the Bali Safari and Marine Park, we have five categories of the enrichment. Those are social, cognitive, physical habitat, sensory, and food. For the orangutan enrichment, we are focusing for the, the cognitive. For enrichment, we must consider about the safety for the animal. When we are doing the enrichment, the safety issue of the enrichment must be as follows. Cannot be used as a weapon. Will not be named the exhibit. Cannot be thrown outside of the exhibit or to the keepers, will not traumatize the animal, cannot help the animal to escape, and cannot lead to aggression. When build a novelty item for the animal, make sure to be use safe material, such as there is not toxic, must be free from the staples, plastic type, or anything that can endanger an animal. Enrichment benefits are physical fitness, longevity, increased immune function, decreased aggression, increased mental stimulation, decreased boredom and illness. In summary, an overall increased well-being for the animal. Animal and method. For the animal, in both Savoy and Marine Park, we use five Bornean orangutan or Pomo females located in holding facilities. Primates are very complicated beings, whose natural environment are very complex. They need to be challenged, not just physically, but mentally, during their stay in the captivity a real challenge for the paper. The material that we use consists of organic and non-organic. The simple organic materials such as cardboard box, newspaper, uh, like in the photos, a uh, making ball uh, with a piece of paper, 
elephant grease or dry leaf as a browse item. Non-organic material, I'll also use uh, such as plastic material like bottles, bowls, or chairs. Implementation of enrichment. The implementation of enrichment should be scheduled two to three weeks every every three weeks. When a particular arrangement becomes provided with a device, the device should be given to another individual and give the first one something new. Uh, I mean like um, rotation. After a while, the old toys should be given back to them and see how well they, they do after prolonged absence. Maintain must be done to all the novelty items and the exhibit addition to safety and security. Method Observation for orangutan activities pre and post enrichment. Then we give the enrichment and collecting data with score 0 until 5. For the example, we give score like uh, number one, no evidence of interaction. I mean, uh, doesn't smell and doesn't touch. The, for number two, uh, minimal evidence of interaction. I mean, only smell and doesn't touch. For number three, moderate evidence of interaction, smelling and touching substantial evidence of interaction, smelling, touching, and playing. Number five, significant evidence of interaction, smelling, touching, and playing for a long time, maybe more than five minutes. We did observation at 7.30 until at 9.30 in the morning and record data every five minutes. This data, we continue process in the student t-test to get accurate result. The result, the inactive and active behavior of pre and post enrichment observation for all five individuals were significantly different. Results show there uh, the high presentation of inactive period for the orangutan compared to the to the time span active before after enrichment was given. For the animal, we was a positive result showing increase of activity. And for the conclusion, uh, from the observation result we can see enrichment can increase activity of orangutan. Therefore, enrichment can be the foundation needed to introduce captive animals to their natural behavior. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much.